And now, Bubba, with us in the Hollywood Hotel. Are you ready for all things 2018? Because it is here, my man. I guess I have to be ready. Huh? <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm ecstatic. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to get things rolling. We're glad you're here. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate yeah, it. You, you've raced your entire life, but on Sunday, you are starting in the Daytona 500, your first start ever in the Great American Race, driving the number 43 car. And in case you haven't heard, your owner has won this race seven times. There's a lot of storylines stacking up with seven Daytona wow. 500 wins. So a lot of storylines stacking up for you on Sunday. There is a lot that is going into this weekend. And uh, I couldn't be more proud of where, you know, my whole campus came from uh, to be here today, be sitting with you guys talking about my first Daytona 500. I mean, I have it as a reminder on my shoes, my first day Daytona 500 awesome. here. Um, so it's, it's a special weekend and just getting to take it all in and knowing the history behind the number 43, knowing the history behind this race, uh, there's a lot of a lot of added pressure there. So I'm just going to do the best that, you know, what I've been doing this last week uh, is trying to manage it all and just remember what the task at hand is. And that's, um, you know, just going out there, making sure I hit all my shift points and, and keep the nose clean and just have a good race. Who's coaching you on handling the pressure because you know Larry ran off the stat line for your owner and how good he was here and we all know the history of the 43 car but here you come in as a rookie laid back you seem to deflect a lot of that pressure and I'm sure in turn it takes a lot of pressure off of the guys on your race team yeah it's the it's the little bubble on this side of the shoulder and the little bubble on this side the good uh, and bad uh, and that's what's kind of managed me yeah do this no don't do that so it's um, it's it's been a journey it's been a, a long fought process I mean leading up to this deal throughout the offseason from losing my ride last year sitting on the sidelines there's a lot that has went into it so uh, you know to be here right now and just thinking about how everything how everything has went down it's uh, it's like wow you know it, it's finally here the season's finally here we can get things rolling and uh, I'm just excited to get these first three or four races on our belts to see you know where we stack up you know we're, we're gonna be trying to do anything and everything we can maybe some different routes just to see what our, our team is capable of but uh, with the attitude and the charisma we have you know with my guys and, and Drew calling the shots we're, uh, we're pretty good. Darrell you mentioned uh, the, your Xfinity Series ride going away late spring early summer and I'm sure at that point you had no idea what you were gonna be doing no one likes to be put in a situation for the reason you were but that was in being put in the 43 car because Eric Almirola was right. injured for four races, but you capitalized on right. it. How pivotal were those four races? Those were huge. Looking back on it, that was that was very big. You know, it could have been one of those deals where I go in at Pocono and, and wreck out in practice and pull out a backup car. That's not a good look for anybody. Uh, I'm trying. I'm giving it my sure. all. Great. You get a pat on the back for doing that. But I think just by running all the laps there, uh, continuing to improve each and every, every race, race yes. uh, finishing 11th, not knocking on the door for a top 10, I think that went a long way. And uh, But talking to the guys, you know, I think they said, you know, from practice and at Pocono, we've we, we seen there that you have the speed and have the capabilities. So we just kind of built on what we, you know, created that foundation there. We built on that and uh, just kept trying to improve. I love that you're here, not just because you're a good race car driver, but you've got such an electric personality. And starting tomorrow, a new Facebook series, Behind the Wall with Bubba Wallace. Here's a little sneak peek. Bingo, bongo, bango. In NASCAR news, it has been confirmed that Darrell Wallace Jr. will be driving the famed number 43 car full-time in the Cup Series. I'm the only African American in this sport right now at the top level. Once you put on the helmet, you can't see any skin color. We all have one goal, and that's to win the race. Come on, you know who to ride, what you ride. Yeah. When he gets out on that track, he expects nothing less than to win. Have some fun out there, Bubba. Appreciate you, man. I love to have a good time. <laughs> also know when to be serious. <laughs> I just like to win. 
Behind the Wall on Facebook, uh, episodes one and two posting on Thursday. And I've seen you a handful of times in the off season. And every time you've got a camera crew following you, how important has it been for you to capitalize on that side and in the exposure that comes with being in this position? It's been stressful, no doubt. Uh, just, you know, from having the cameras on you 24 seven, uh, always just around capturing everything you do, it's, it's stressful. So um, to, to be able to manage that as well has been kind of tough. And you know, when to say enough is enough and then also that, okay, we need to capture this. This will be good content. And uh, you know, Dale Jr. had called me uh, right when I landed and said, you know, get ready for these next three or four weeks. These are the biggest three or four weeks of your life. That is a real game changer, uh, not only for you, but I have the opportunity to do something outside of this sport that many won't have that opportunity to do. So just be ready to capitalize on that. And when you sit there and think about it, it's like, you're right. He says, make this, make this, set this up for when you look back 10 years from now and be like, I'm glad we did that. That looks really good. You are, in fact, in the midst of the glory days. Enjoy every step, my friend, because this is going to be a weekend you'll never forget. Absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate it.